Okay, so this video will show you how to use some of the basic tools in SplashUp. First, click uh, jump right in to start the program. Like that, and then we have to choose a picture, and you do that by clicking File, choosing Open Image. If you have the picture you're going to use on your computer, you just click the Browse button here and uh, select the picture. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, change the picture size. And to do that, you click Image and choose Image Size. So you get this window up, and here you can change the width and the height of the picture. And if you just want to change the size of the picture without uh, changing the picture's proportions, you select the Constraint, and then you only have to change one of these. Okay, now that I've chosen the size that I want on my picture, I will explain the tools that you have on the left side of the screen. First off, we have two very similar tools, uh, the Mark and the Lasso tools. With the mark tool you can make a square mark, or if you click here, you can make a circular mark. With the lasso tool you can mark an area of any shape you like, because you just click with the mouse and draw a line around the thing you want to mark. And if you leave a hole like this around your marked area when you release the mouse button, the program will fill the hole. And here is the marker tool. Uh, here you change the size of your marker and here you change the color. And when you draw, you can only draw inside the area you have marked, if you have marked an area. And whenever you do something wrong, you just click the undo button here at the bottom left corner. Okay, next is the line tool, which is uh, very simple. You just click and draw a line. Next, we have two very similar tools, the box and the circle tools. With the box tool you draw a box, and with the circle tool you draw a circle. As you can see up here, only draw fill is marked. If you unmark that and mark the draw border, choosing uh, the border size here, you will get a figure looking like this. And if you should increase the corner radius, you will get the rounded edges on your box. The color of the fill is used here, and the color of the border is used here. The polygon tool is basically the same as the box and the circle tools. As you can see it has the same options up here. Except for this option where you can choose the number of sides on your polygon. For example 3 or 5. The pencil tool is much like the marker tool. You just choose the size and color and then you just draw. However, unlike the marker tool, if you draw too fast it will look like this. The marker will always make a line that looks like this. And by the way, if you choose saturate when you use the marker, it will look like this. The next tool is the brush tool. In the brush tool you can choose shape, size, feather and random rotation. You can for example choose 4 point star, size 40, looks like this. And you can draw a line, you can draw a line faster, you will get this effect. And if you choose feather it will look like this, and with the random rotation you get this effect. Next is the paint bucket tool, and uh, with this tool you can uh, change the color of an area or an object with only one color. If you for example have a white circle in this guy's forehead, you just choose uh, a color and click in the circle. The eraser tool is exactly what it sounds like and the options for the shape of the eraser is the same as the options for the shape of the brush. It can look like this. This is the smudge tool and with that you can uh, smudge the colors of your picture. You can set the shape, the size and the strength and with these settings uh, you will get a smudge that looks like this and if we increase the strength to 75 it will look like this. This is the text tool, and the options for the text is basically the same as in programs such as Word or WordPad, therefore I'm not going to explain them any further. To create a text you just click where you want your text to start, and then you write your text. The program will create a new layer for the text, and if you want to remove your text you can do it under the layer menu here, or if you just want to hide it you click on the eye. Next is the pen tool. 
and it's very simple you just uh, click the picture and drag your mouse to pan it however since my whole picture fits in the editing window I cannot pan it this is the move tool and with that you can move your selected layer so if I make my text layer visible and select it I can move it and if I select my picture layer I can move that too oh and uh, this is unfortunately something that happens every now and again um, everything just disappears sometimes you can get it back by clicking the undo button but uh, sometimes you can't so remember to save a picture often this is the eyedropper tool and with that you can change the color you're using to any color you have in the picture if I for example want this specific tone of green I just select the eyedropper and I click where that color is and then I can use the color here we have the crop tool and it's very simple you just click and draw a marker around the part of the picture you want to crop this is the free transform tool also a quite a simple tool first you select where you want the center to be and then you transform your picture by drawing one of the corners or one of the sides of the picture like this and then you have to choose whether you want to cancel or apply the transformation I'm going to cancel it okay the last tool I'm going to show you is the rotate tool as in the transformation tool you start with uh, choosing the center and then you click one of the corners of the picture and simply rotate it finally you get to cancel or apply the rotation okay you hopefully now have a basic understanding of this program and you can start using it. Have fun and good luck!